Hey everyone, I'm Nate. And I'm Abby. We're the RC Sailors and we're going to test a little drone for you today. This is a Wi-Fi FPV camera drone. It goes by the name of the FQ777 FQ20W. Let's take a quick look at what comes in the box, then we'll get it in the air and see how it does. Now the box says Mantis, so it can be a little bit hard to find this stuff online because of the way they name things. So we'll have it linked in the description box below for you if you want to check it out for yourself. When we picked this up, it was gone for about 60 bucks. It does come with its own instruction manual, and you'll need these QR codes here uh, to have a quick reference to download the app, depending on whatever phone you have. So make sure you hold on to those. Very handy. It has a little bag that you can put everything in when it's out of the container, because this drone actually comes in a lot of pieces. It's a modular system. Little foam protector on top. And then we've already taken these out because we topped off the battery on our drive over here. It's cold out, so we want to make sure that these all have our best case scenario when it's cold on flight time. So just remember that when it's cold out, you're gonna have a shorter flight time and plastics are gonna be more brittle. It comes with a 600 milliamp LiPo battery with a little JST plug and a balance connector on there. The weird thing is it's 3.7 volts. So that's usually one cell. 7.4 volts would be two cells. I, I don't understand that because it says 7.4 on the back, but over here, 3.7 volts. That's weird. Why does it do that? I don't know. It's definitely 7.4 volts though. Anyway. Here's our transmitter. Let's take a quick look at that and know that both joysticks are spring-loaded, which means it has altitude hold built into the drone. We have trim functions and we have a couple buttons up here, probably for camera flips and rates. Uh, it feels really good. I like this transmitter a lot. It's a good size transmitter and uh, everything makes sense on the button layout. I like it a lot. Joysticks click. We'll have to take a look at the instructions. Now you guys notice we have our body and forearms in here. And uh, JJRC did one of these not long ago. We featured it on our channel maybe a month or so ago. And it was awesome because the spare arms and things were only like five bucks each. And that's perfect. That's amazing. I cannot speak for that on this one. But if we can find them, we'll link it in the description box below. I don't know that this one has cheap replaceable parts like the JJRC one did. The cool thing is that it uses like your standard battery balance port as the connection for that. And then everything is labeled. It's hard to see on the camera probably, but that says A and then the arm says A. So they just plug in nice and easy. And when you get it lined up, you pull this little switch over and it locks it in place. And now that's not going anywhere. So that's a good method of doing that. And then, you know, you don't have to look at the A and B for everyone after that. Just know that the colors, it's gonna go blue and blue across from each other and then red and red across from each other. We got it plugged in, we'll lock it in place. Hmm. Okay, I told you wrong. Told you wrong, guys, I apologize. The blue is going on the same side. So you're gonna have to look at those labels. I was completely wrong, you know, I'm wrong a lot. <laughs> <laughs> when you said it, I kind of thought you were wrong. I figured it would be on the same side. Well, Usually these toy grade drones, the front lights are the same color and the back right. lights are the same color. All right. There we have it. So it looks like that's probably the back, I would say, but I don't know. I've been wrong so much today. I have no idea. All right, show them what else comes in the box. Okay, we have underneath this foam and under this foam, we have prop guards. We're not gonna use those spare screws in here. We have a screwdriver. We also have landing gear. I'm going to opt out of those probably unless I need them for the camera. We have propellers and I believe it did come with spares. Let's see how many we got. I think we have eight props. So yeah, that's nice. We'll install those in just a second. We also have a phone mount holder for your FPV that's going to go on the transmitter. And it looks like, yeah, see this? This is spring loaded here. So you just plug that down into the transmitter and it locks in place. Let's see if Abby's phone will fit in here. Of course not. Uh, nope, it will not. So thumbs down, guys. You know, by now we should have a chip clip method that works on all of these. I don't know why they don't do that. It's very annoying. And then this is the little camera and it looks like you can adjust the angle. So I'm gonna get everything installed here and uh, then we'll get this in the air and show you this drone in flight. Well, the prop installation is pretty neat. I wanted to show you guys because I've never seen anything like this. You see these are like spring loaded here and then there's a plus sign on this. You just press that down and rotate the prop 90 degrees and then it locks into the other plus sign and it's not going anywhere. That's actually really cool. I, I'm impressed. I like that a lot. 
I like when companies take some initiative and do something a little different and it seems to work. I don't know how well that'll hold up or anything, but for this application, I'm impressed. So you twist that in place and you see how easy that was. Now on the flip side, this was very easy, but the camera installation was not. There's two things that I have to complain about. One being this can't, the battery hatch, there's no extra room for your wires in there. And uh, you can't even open and close this when that's plugged, the camera's plugged in. You have to unplug the camera, then you have to open that. And when you do finally get that open, because the camera's on there, that's as far as this will open. And it was very hard to install the camera because you have to screw it in and it was just a really awkward angle to get that. And there's no room for your wires in here in the battery compartment. It's very tight. It's just like you're pretty much breaking everything to jam it into place just to get that battery hatch closed. So let's fly. Let's fly. Everything is bound up. We're going to go ahead and press film on Abby's phone. We get that audible indicator. We also have a nice little visual counter on her screen to and let I, you know. I checked and it saves directly to my phone. That's good. Now this one is a little weird. It took us a minute to figure it out, but it's both sticks down and to the left to start the motors and both sticks down and to the right to stop them. So a good little note for everybody. We have an auto takeoff button by our throttle stick and it does not want to take off. Goodness, I'm going to sort of push up. That's full throttle, and we got nothing. The lights are blinking. I hit auto land. I'm actually going to hit stop motors. Nope, didn't need to. So let me make sure they're all spinning the right way. All right, I had all four A props on. That's I why put I didn't them take in off. the piles of A's and B's. I could have swear I grabbed a whole pile of four props. But they were all A's. Down the pile the is all A's. And now auto take off. Is it still filming? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yep. We're in the air. Finally. Now my camera looks really blurry and fuzzy. You see that? Like mm -hmm. it looks super out of focus. I wonder if the film footage will look like that too. Oh, I hope. But the actual Wi-Fi quality is really good. I want to go higher rates because that's full forward. So you click the left stick to adjust your rates. We have a light breeze of something like two or three miles an hour. Enough to make it really cold. It's enough to make it cold, that's right. But everything is so blurry. It's just like it's out of focus. It's like maybe there's glue on the on the camera or something. Let me just make sure there's no like protective layer on the... Uh... <laughs> I don't think there is. Nate's been known to do that. I like the little pods on the bottom for the lights. They really help with orientation and they they're really bright. Like you can see those really well. Oh, I don't know. I don't know why it's saying that. It's just really blurry. Yeah, the altitude hold's doing great. This is 100% the drone doing that. I'm just holding it in place with, with the breeze. So uh, yeah, that's really good. It's kind of noisy because it's a geared, brushed, motored quad. Let's go to the highest rate. So there's rate three and there's full forward into the breeze. And we're losing altitude because it just cannot keep up with that pitch. There we go. Pretty fast with the wind. You can see how quickly you could lose this if you were a newer pilot and you're flying in wind. Check this out. I am going to... What are you, what are you saying? Fly over there. Okay. I'm, I was letting <laughs> the, the wind... The sky looks better over the there. The wind is pushing me over there. That okay. is 100% the wind. So you can see how quickly you can lose a drone even in a light breeze when it doesn't have a GPS and you're a new pilot. Let's get it back over here. All right, we have a couple other things to test, like flips, so I'd like to go ahead and do that. And let's just press flips right here. It doesn't seem to want to flip. Press and hold. Yep, I am. And then I've also just pressed and released and pick a direction, and it's not doing it, so let me stop filming. And maybe it'll do it now. This also could be one that when the drone has a camera plugged in, it won't flip. So let's hit auto land. And I just touched the auto land button. I can still steer it, but I'm letting it have control of the throttle. Seems to be doing a really good job. Does it claim to have return to home or headless mode? We're going to test those after I unplug the camera. Okay. Yep. Make sure you stop filming. I did. Okay. All right, the camera's still on there, but I've unplugged it, so the drone has no idea that it's on there, except for the added weight. So let's go ahead and start the motors again. We'll do an auto takeoff. And it likes to stop right there. So I'd say that's about 10 feet high or so. Now let's see if it'll let us do a flip. I'm gonna climb a little higher. 
and yeah it does so it's this is uh camera. yep when you have the camera plugged in you cannot do flips it's going to rate two because we cannot fight that wind and let's do another flip not bad at all based on what you were saying about the camera it's not even worth it anyways i agree yeah uh okay let's fly out a little bit we're just going to make it easy on the drone and i'm going to hit return to home it's going to the right it's going to the right let me just make sure that's not headless mode it's going with the and wind actually too. that's headless mode you see how i have full y'all <laughs> so that was not I had return them, to home right, i had them confused so i have full y'all going and i can give it one direction and it still goes in that direction if you're curious to know what headless mode is just type into youtube what is headless mode and our video will be the number one thing to come up and check that out and um, it, we try to explain it pretty well but headless mode works exceptionally well on this turn i'm very surprised all right and uh, for those of you that are curious the back is the red lights the front is the blue and then we should have return to home so let's fly out i'll hit return to home and then i'll pass the controls to abby if there's any flight time left on this so there's return to home and it's actually going off to the right with the wind so not a very good return to home i've got controls back and i'm just going to pass the controls over to abby here you go abby Ooh, my fingers are numb cold cold isn't it yeah, so, it's yeah. abby I how to fly i forget everything i know nathan no you don't is it race yep you click the left stick now you're in the highest rates rate three Whoa. What were you telling me about which part of the sky to fly in? I don't know, Nathan. I forgot how to fly. Yeah. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> if you forgot how to fly, it'd be in Death Valley already. <laughs> I was saying when you were fiddle farting around with the props that I like the little light pods on the bottom. They stand out really well. Right. On camera, they're not doing very good. Uh, when I was filming, I thought that it was. Well, that's why I fly and you film. <laughs> <clears throat> I like them. They look good. They look good, yeah. They do. They boast a something like 8 to 12 minute flight time. Well, by golly gee, I might get a real flight in my, in my belt notch thing. Belt I notch. don't know. That was... <laughs> I forgot what I was saying. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's kind of why I brought that up because normally after I've tested all the features, they're not there's not much time left for Abby to fly these toy grade drones. So um, this one has a slightly longer flight time than most, and it's probably due to the fact it has that bigger battery. That barely fits. It barely fits. <laughs> uh, the downside is they said in the instructions that it's about an hour and twenty to an hour. Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, 120 to 180 minutes to charge that battery with the included charger. That's well, pretty must, slow. It must have been partially charged when I charged this because it did not take that long. Right, yeah. Now, as far as this drone goes, it's okay overall. I just don't know that it's worth 60 bucks. There are like so many other things out there on the market that I would personally rather have than this. But if you like how it looks, you like how it's functioning here today on our video, then by all means, grab one up for yourself. We'll have a link in the description box below. You know, just because we do or don't like something doesn't always mean that you will agree with us. I mean, most people do, but not everybody does. <laughs> You see those you see those thumbs down on the video right now? Good example of the people that do not agree with us. Awkward. Really? <laughs> we were both quiet. That's why I said that. It's so true. After that little yeah. haters gonna hate comment. Well, we got it's quiet. true. It's Just true. What do you think? You know, a lot of people in life, they let the haters get to them. They could have 99 positive comments, positive feedback from 99 people, but it's that one person that leaves that negative comment that it just gets to you and you forget about all the positivity. So if you're a YouTuber or just a, anybody in general that has to deal with getting feedback from others, don't let that one person ruin something you enjoy That's doing. right ignore it because haters are losers that's right haters are losers they have always, no friends always remember that hate is fueled by jealousy oh, and other things and so they're just losers 
So just remember that, you know, just do what you love and don't let other people keep you from doing what you love. Also, just know that if you got a hater in your life, the RC Sailors got your back. We got haters, we know what it's like. So vent to us, let us know if you have a, if you have some bully in your life that you just can't stand because we'll, yeah. we'll just crash a thousand drones into their face right now. <laughs> I can't stand. And you know when bullies. people are bullies because when you when you stand up for yourself to them, they play the victim card. Mm -hmm. And so I always find that interesting is when someone tries to tear you down, but you stand up for yourself and they play the victim. Don't let that bother you. That is a bully tactic. That is a loser tactic. So always remember that. So if you're thinking about starting a YouTube channel or you know making an awesome Instagram account where you post things that you're passionate about don't let the haters scare you my that's, sister that's in advice. fact you all have seen her on the channel Lori she's she's wanting to build her Instagram and she's come to us for advice and I have tried to warn her you know that it's hard to deal with the haters sometimes you just have to have really thick skin and don't let it bother you and uh, I think I think she'll be successful at what she's doing so yeah. Don't let it bother you. I cannot believe this is still in the air. Yeah, I know. I'm all surprised that, too. All that talking about haters are losers. And this drone is still and flying. This is still flying. This it's a good flight time. The longest flight I've ever had. I hope, if anything, you guys take a positive message from that because uh, no one should stop you from doing what you enjoy doing. That's right. That's what I was We've doing. seen it happen, Abby. We've seen people that have big, had big channels oh, and yeah. we've seen friends get. Uh, hate on a little bit and it's enough to bring them down to the point where they stop what they're doing. We've both had it, have had it happen to us in other things, not just the RC hobby, but in other parts of our lives. It's, mm -hmm. it's crazy. But, you know, hate is fueled by jealousy. Mm -hmm. It is. That's why I like our YouTube channel because... It's the blinking light. Oh, okay. Right? It hasn't been mm -hmm. blinking this whole time. Right. Yeah. It's blinking now. Uh, what I was saying is that's why I like our YouTube channel because I feel like it's a safe haven for most people to come and just chill and enjoy the hobby at its finest and, and make friends while you're here. Oh, oh. terrible land. <laughs> I think that this has a few things really going for it that we liked a lot. The first and most obvious would be that flight time. That was just an outstanding flight time. It did a really good job. And keep in mind, it's cold out. So that's going to reduce your flight time pretty significantly. At least it's cold where we are now. It's like 30 degrees or so Fahrenheit. I do also like the transmitter. I didn't hear you complaining at all about it. I thought this performed awesome. Felt great. Yeah. I cannot believe the battery life on it too. I agree. I would take the camera off and just enjoy this for a rate yep. three drone start in beginner mode on a very, very light breeze day oh, and then work your way up. Yes. Perfect. I like that a lot. The uh, the transmitter felt great. It looks cool. It's a, it really ergonomically felt awesome, especially as an adult. It's not one of those tiny toy transmitters. Sorry we never plugged that camera back in, but Nate said it was it so blurry it probably yeah. wasn't worth it. And then, you know, I have to point this out too. The props, the way they install was really cool. I, I really like how that's just uh, you press down, hold it in place, twist it 90 degrees, and now your prop is uninstalled. It's really cool. I'm a goober and I put all four A props on there. And uh, you know what? I like to include this stuff in our videos just to let you know that even people that fly a drone every day of their life still makes mistakes. And if you're out there watching other YouTubers or something and they don't show their mistakes, trust me, they're making a hundred mistakes off camera. And if you're one of those people that love to point out other people's mistake, maybe think twice about that comment. That's true, yeah. This is like life lesson video. Because everybody makes mistakes. That's right. Yeah. We make mistakes in almost every video. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, you know there are some things that I don't like about this big time. Uh, I do not like the phone holder because it's not big enough for larger phones. I think that all of these should have a clip, uh, chip clip mount by, <laughs> at this point in time. Uh, I did not like the way the camera is mounted on there and I also do not like the battery hatch. There's no room in there for your wires. Everything is just jammed in there and I don't like that at all. Nathan we should make a new series you know drone flying or life lessons a drone flying with life lessons. Or there you something. go. Yeah, <laughs> that's know. today. This is the be uh, episode should, one. <laughs> should we should we do that, guys? No. Leave it, leave it in the comments below. Should we do life lessons while drone flying? Oh, drone flying with life lessons. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, if you are interested in this, you still want to pick one up for yourself, uh, we'll have a link in the description box below. Also, I want to note that we didn't adjust this, but the camera angle is adjustable and um, the camera quality was pretty bad in my opinion. Although the Wi-Fi quality was great, it was not laggy or anything, it was very smooth. So take it for what it is. It's not perfect. Nothing in life is. If you like it, buy it. It's up to you. Uh, we say it's kind of on the fence. Mm -hmm. It, it kind of redeemed itself. Especially so, with the battery life. Be awesome, guys. Especially around this time of year. Just go do something for someone in your life that maybe you wouldn't have otherwise. And uh, you don't have to let us know about it. Just do it. Just be a good person. And uh, we'll meet up with you, fly with you later, and thank you then. Thanks a lot for watching. We'll see you guys in the next video. Bye!